this little uh, hair tie I bought, it has two, as soon as I said eyeballs, my eyes start switching. It has two little eyeballs on it and like a little nose. Like it's hard to look at that. You got a wonky eye. I'd be like, good thing I got four. When I'm tired of conversating with people, I'm like, listen, eyes up here, eyes up here, talk to the bun. Let's get a couple things, not off our chest, just out of the way. One, it's raining outside, so if you can hear the rain, sorry. Should be a nice little ambiance noise in the background compared to my squawking and talking. Two, uh, it's kind of gloomy outside and this is the afternoon, so we might lose the light. It's not as bright as it usually is in here. Sorry about that. I can't control the weather. Ran up to Wisconsin to go get lunch with one of my old uh, roommates. Shout out Allie, college friend. Love her to death. Um, but I'm exhausted because we were chit-chatting for like two hours just solid back to back. How are you? How's this? How's that? Remember the thing I talked? Can you believe? Oh my god, have you heard? So I got tired. I w came home, bought another one of these energy drinks, the Ghost Cherry Limeade. Not my favorite one. Drank like a quarter of this, then tried to take a nap for 20 minutes and now I'm gonna film. So I might be slap happy. I might be a moody Judy. There might just be footage of me just just trying to collect the couple of brain cells in my brain, put them back together and make a thought. Who knows? This one tastes like, honestly, it tastes like an alcoholic beverage that I've had that I just can't put my finger on it. Feels like I'm about to get crazy. I can turn this light on. It'll help a little bit. Also, when I went and bought that energy drink, I happened to have yawned when I was putting in my pin number and the guy goes, no sleeping? I said, I'm not no sleeping. Yes, I do look tired. The dark circles under my eyes, I didn't rent those. I've paid for those, okay? I'm not taking a mortgage out on these dark circles. I own those outright. These are always here. That's not how you start a conversation. Basically, he just went like, look like shit. I'm like, <laughs> okay, can I get a receipt? <laughs> Whatever. This is a PO box opening. Love these videos. Uh, I always write down where the packages come from. So if you send anything on Amazon, please make sure you put in a little notes where it comes from. You don't have to send me a thing. You could send me a letter, a postcard that just says, draw that on there. You don't have to send me anything ever, but I will put the PO box address in the description because I always see comments about people asking. There you go. Let's just start caring. This is from Amazon. Oh, an unidentified brown box. String lights. <gasps> this is not a toy. Okay, it might be. Beer mug string lights. What? what? We must open. I literally have string lights in my room. They're orange and I was just looking at the other day and I was like, I really like the string lights in here. I feel like it really cozied up the place. Hello. Oh, notes. What is this? Natterday flag. Natterday? Okay. All right. How do you open this? I mean, oh, do, do. what? Is that not? They're so cute. Oh my God. Adorable. What? The ones that are missing, they're on the ground. They all came. I love that. And I love beer. I didn't even buy those. If you had like a little uh, bar in your house. Listen, I went to college in Wisconsin. A lot of like the houses have like a little bar set up in the basement. That'd be so cute. Hanging off the bar. Is this is a little Natterday flag. Oh my good. Look at that. Natterday. Boo boo. Natterday. Boo boo. Not to talk beer with y'all. But uh, who is it? Nat Natural Light did send me some packages for a while. He sent me like a couple cases of beer around. But I don't know what they were doing. But they did send me. They had like these pink lemonade beers. And they're called. I think they're called Natterdays. They're pink lemonade beers. If you like beer. Cheap beer. Try them sometimes. I thought they were pretty good. Ooh, 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 ooh. And that's boozing with Christine. That's as much as all. <laughs> Drink responsibly. You know the drill. From your friends in PA. From Carrie. And then you have a long last name. We need to be a little more specific, Carrie. No fault of your own. Just give me a town. Give me a county. Give me a general direction. East Pennsylvania. I don't even know. Is it Pennsylvania? Isn't Pennsylvania kind of small? If you've been here the longest time, you know I used to have the P.O. Box map up. Once a P.O. Box video, I will turn around and still think that there's a map on the wall of the U.S. because I'm bad at geography. It's okay. Thank you so much, Carrie! The beer lights? That scratches a part of my brain. Getting something that you didn't even know existed is one of the best types of gifts. Ooh, this feels... I don't know. Maybe like a stapler? <laughs> I think it's just... It's gotta be like a squish mellow. Wait! What? Oh, it's more of these peep things. Okay, Easter has passed. That's fine. No note. I don't think there's notes in the other one. Look at that. They're getting bigger. Every time I open one of these and a peep pops out, it gets bigger. I really like the orange, but I really like the nerdy one. Paint your papers. Let's paper those peeps. Paint your papers. The next one that comes in is just like as tall as me. Where would we even put that? I don't even like peeps. The candy, not a fan of them. Really gets on my peeping nerves. Uh, something about them. It's not a theory, but I feel like if anybody has a hard stance on something, it's usually on candy. There's always something you really like and something you hate. Hate it, you despise. You're like, why? Who is buying? Those that fall under for me, peeps. Who's keeping peeps in business? The elephant, the orange elephant peanuts. Who's eating those? At what board meeting are we still talking about the, the sales? Those are just a couple of mine that I can't stand. You guys should comment down below candies that you're just like, who labeled this a candy? Somehow you created a product that grinds my gears. I wouldn't feed it to my enemy. That was a weird round. <laughs>
some of y'all are watching this and in the other room, your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, roommate, stranger, someone who just broke in, they're like, what are you listening to? This girl, Christine, she going on a rant about candy. We're four minutes into the video. Feels like a weird type of TED talk where I'm, I'm being held hostage and I'm getting talked to. This feels like a, a book or something. This is Amazon again. Let's fall in love with sheet masks. What? <laughs> Are you trying to convince me? <laughs> Let's fall in love with sheet masks. Why does this feel like a how-to guide? And why is there a dolphin on the front? There's an avocado, a face mask, and a dolphin, and a bee. Are these dolphin scented face masks? It just smells like blubber? Like what is this? Oh, St. Patrick's Day scarf? It says scarf. <laughs> no note on <laughs> See that little fuzzies that came out of there? No note on that. There's an aloe, there's a pomegranate, there's an orange, there's an avocado, there's a coffee anti-aging face mask. Do your worst. I still don't get why there's a unicorn on the front of this package. Or it's a porpit. A porp, uh, uh, a seal? No, what's the white ones? Beluga? No, beluga. The beluga whale, the white one? Yeah, 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 yeah. This must be their mascot. It's on every damn package. Be my honey face mask? Let's smell the honey one. That smells like nail polish remover. <laughs> It smells like danger. <laughs> it does smell like honey. So it smells like someone spilled a bottle of nail polish remover in a honey factory. That's, I don't. <laughs> I literally keep all the face masks. And then when I go on like a sleepover or a road trip, I'll just bring a bunch. Face mask, anybody? Like, where'd you get this? I don't know, it came to me. <laughs> it just done showed up. Oh, look at that. These are nice. I never seen one like this. That's cute. It has little paw prints on it. Oh, this one's got what, leprechauns? Leprechauns with no face? Leprechauns holding a heart? Short leprechauns holding a... <laughs> We need to do a video where I pay Pictionary when they're drawing on the whiteboard and you're like, oh, what is it? Uh, 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 a tire, a tire of a car, a tire, a semi, a semi, a semi tire. It's a semi tire. Is that half a tire? Not, not a tire of a semi truck. Is it that? It's a tree. That's a maple tree. No, I'm not. Where are the roots? Let's get to the root of the problem. You can't draw. <laughs> these are cute. These are fun. I'll put these in Riley's bin. Thank you. Look at this pink package. This is from Audrey, Bakersfield, California. I'm like 99% sure that we have gotten something from there. All these post-it notes. And in my office, and I almost just started writing it on my arm because I was like, oh, oh, nothing's within reach. Let me get my to-do list out of here. California is the place to be. Boom, boom. Isn't that from the Green Acres theme song? Green Acres is the place to be. Boom, boom. My mom loves watching old shows like that. This is something handmade. I don't care what it is. I already think it's cute. <laughs> oh, uh... Oh, this is for like your, oh, I'll fill you all in in a second. Just give me a, what is, is this like a laptop? Is this like, for, okay, there's a note. I was like, please, please. These are from the Akatar books. This is a mountain in the books. The little stars. To the stars who listen and to the, you think I would know the quote. And the dreams that are answered. Look at that. She made me two of them. The tie-dye. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know what these are. They got a little thing on them. I'm thinking this is for a Kindle. This is where you put your Kindle. I finally whipped out my Kindle that I got for Christmas. And I was reading off it the other day. You just put that in there. And this one could fit a laptop. I don't think my laptop would fit in there. Maybe it's a little big. You can put a book in here. You can put a book in here. Today is a very good day. Look at the back. That's cute too. Start making the backs of the cards cute. When people are reading the cards, they're showing you this part. I'm like, okay, I want to be entertained too. Oh, nice little design. That's cute. I wonder where it's back. They just slap a barcode on the back and they go, huh? Oh, you paid four seventy nine dollars for that? We can't even put anything on the back cover. I'm sorry. Cats and bats. Oh, this is a cute sticker. Okay, to have a good day. You have incredible handwriting. It's like this got this fun little slant to it. I really like it. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself because I got no sleep and I got an energy thing coursing through me. This is some unique handwriting. If you committed a crime like some fraud, it would be very easy for the handwriting person to be like, no, that was Audrey. We can clearly match up. That's very distinct handwriting. <laughs> Look at that sticker. Some of y'all need this. Cats and bats. Look how like serious a little kitty cat is. It says to have a good day. Heart. Thank you for sharing you with all of us. You make days brighter and I absolutely adore you and all of your content. I saw you enjo you're enjoying a certain book and thought you might enjoy these book sleeves. Okay, it is a book sleeve. That's so smart because sometimes I'll be throwing books around. For as much coffee as I drink, that's coffee that's just near paper-like material, there should be a book cover. Um, I hope you like them. My friend and I started a bookish business, Cats and Bats Crafts. A bookish business. We love cats. We met rescuing cats and spooky things. A forever follower, Audrey. That's such a nice way to sign a forever follower. I've said this time and time again. You know when you, you get a person, you just get them, you find them instantly fascinating? Audrey, this is you. People who have these passions, hobbies, and they're just loud, proud, and straight up about it. I like cats, bats, rescuing things, spooky stuff, and I got really good handwriting. That's just, that's a little bit about me. Love that. Thank you so much. These are amazing. I've never even heard of a book cover. Now I'm invested. Now I got two of them. Good luck with the company. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Ugh, these are, those are so Where did they go? Oh, they're right here. <laughs> This energy drink says you'll have epic focus. I'm sorry. You never met a brain like mine. This is from Amazon. You gift wrapped it? These, I thought this was a razor. <laughs> oh my gosh, are these like crystallized glasses? <gasps> Look at that! 
Oh, wow. You can like see, but it feels like I got the vision of a bee. Zzz, zzz. Or like a fly. Is this what it's like to be a fly? This is nuts. No wonder I'm always bumping into people and trying to suck their blood. What? What? When flies make sounds, you're not hearing a zzz. You're hearing them say what? 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 Zzz. Zzz. Oh, can I land here? Oh, I just got hit in the head by a hand. This is crazy. I'm gonna get dizzy so fast. And it's all rainbow. You know when people sleep and they sleep with the eye mask on? I think you should sleep with these glasses on. You wake up, you're like, oh my god, a rainbow. Every time you wake up, you see a rainbow. You lie, you go somewhere, you lie and tell people that you can perfectly see through these glasses, but really you're just, you don't want to be there, you're not even paying attention. You're like, mm, yes, I'll take a natter day. Yes, thank you so much. And you're like, okay, and you're just in the corner. Okay, let me try and read this without, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> this is hard to find. These must be sitting down glasses. Hey, hey, hey. Where's my good eye? Hey, it's me, Jenny and Asher. You sent, who sent? <laughs> we sent <laughs> the Mexican candy with the pretty box. I think that was like years ago. With the pretty box of the candy? That was like years ago when I used to do this in my bedroom. If that's the right one. Hope you enjoy, but no, loved you, your, you sunglasses. We also have an extensive, unique collection. I guess I don't wear them enough. I have so many funky glasses that I just pick up for props, characters, sunglasses. Hope you like the sweater too from Je is that who sent the splatter paint sweater? So I'm gonna throw up. Is that who sent the splatter paint uh, picture or sweater in the in the vlog video I did? Blink to that here. Boom, boom, boom. You should watch it. Um, is that who sent that sweater paint? Because then she commented on the video and she's like, "Oh, that was me. I, there wasn't no space to leave a note." Thank you so much. These are fun. I'm gonna bring this to like the next wedding I go to. Pop them on the drunkest person there and be like, "Go live your life. Go make out with a bridesmaid. Go find your princess." Okay, let me try and hold them up to you guys so you can see them. Look at that. Ain't that funky chunky? That's probably what it was like to be on drugs in the 70s. That's something else. Okay, this is from Megan, Durham, North Carolina. Durham! That sounds like you're in the grocery store and you're yelling at your mom from across the aisle and she's like, I already got us a ham. And I said, but they got Durham here. Where'd you get the ham? She goes, I got it from the gas station. They were selling them out the back two for seven. I'm like, what about Durham here? Five pound or seven pounder. This one's got a free side of mashed potatoes frozen to it. This Durham. North Carolina. Okay, this is from Megan. Oh, I didn't rip that too nicely. What is that? Tits? The company's called Tits? Premium cotton tea towels. I'm not lying. Here, Tits, the company. I love this. Little tea towel with birds on it. Is this a pillowcase? Wait, what is this? No, it's a tea towel. I literally just said it was a tea towel. <laughs> Wait, oh, what just flew off of there? A string. Why does it say tits? Am I not getting the joke? Tits, birds, birds, tits, birds, tits. That's kind of funny. A willow. I've never even heard of these birds. A marsh, a long, I know a long, a crested, a coal, a blue. I've never heard of a, a bearded bird. Do all the towels just say tits on them? How come I'm not getting it? <laughs> How do you open this? Whoa, look at that. Christine, Merry Late Christmas and Happy New Year. This package could not have been sitting there that long. Does it say when it mailed? No. We are in April. I wanted to write I wanted to write on something Christmassy, but it's kind of impractical. I got you this tea towel because I thought you might find it funny. Hope you enjoy. You're gonna have to comment down the joke. I'm not getting what the I'm not getting the tits joke. I always talk about talking pieces. It's an interesting thing you keep in your house that start up a conversation. Hey, why does your tea towel say tits on it? I'm like, you got me. <laughs> if you figure it out, you can have it. <laughs> Uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you for all the joy you bring in your videos. You always are a joy to watch. I may or may not watch them a few times. Ha ha. That's fine. <laughs> Loud and proud. <laughs> I watch them seven times just to get them edited. Please keep doing, though, without a recipe. Those are the best. I have a book series rec for when you finish the Akatar series. The Inheritance. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. It's so good. Ha ha. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, haha. Ha, okay, bye. For Megan. Oh, maybe it was. It was. It's so good. Okay, bye. Haha, ha, Megan. We need to start signing off our letters with haha. Ha. Sorry about the divorce. Haha, ha, Christine. <laughs> Sorry, I hit your car with my car. Ha, ha Christine. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you for the tea towel. I might give this to Jerry. He likes birds and he likes tits. That's kind of fun for him. <laughs> Thank you. Let's open a letter from Peter. 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 He's written us a letter before. It's a couple of videos back. I think we encouraged him to write more. I said, oh. Do you have a job? Quit it. You're gonna be a writer. Madison, Wisconsin. We got Peter with another. I think he writes on a typewriter. Is that what we were going with? I feel like I'm like announcing something. Uh, 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 uh. Now no, entering, entering the ring. ring. <laughs> Christine, we meet again. If this doesn't end with ha ha, Peter. <laughs> I posted the video with my first letter. So many people commented that they want to hear more from me. So obviously here I am. Supply and demand. I'm a man of the people. <laughs> I'm a goober like everyone who follows you. Why is that gonna make me cry? I love being a goober. I like hanging out with goobers. I like building a community of goobers. I love them. 
My favorite of your videos to date is the waffles in the woods. Whenever I indoctrinate someone into the cactus crew, I show them that one. And of course it works like a charm. If you want to know how my week is going, I took a pillowcase out of the dryer and put it over my head like a t-shirt, spent 20 seconds searching for the armholes and then mumbled, what is this, pants? <laughs> First of all, good on you. I could never fit in a pillowcase. I don't think they've ever made a pillow as big as my body. Maybe like a couch cover. You know, I would think that's one of my sweatshirts and try and put on like, what is this? They're like, that's the couch cover. That fits a sectional, an L couch, one of those fluffy air couches. That's crazy that, that you thought that was a shirt. Anyway, I may be so bold. In my last letter, I mentioned how proud we are of you. I, and I really meant that. Peter, don't you dug on my heartstrings. I rewatch your videos often. I've noticed how your editing has improved in the quality of your content. As someone who comes from an informal cinematography, it's very impressive to know you do all this on your own. It's also sometimes difficult for creators to transition from skits and short term to long term and vlog type episodic videos, but I think we all can appreciate how effortlessly you seem to do it. Am I blushing? I was very touched when you opened up about your struggles with summer in your it looks like XXX year in review. I think you I think it's how you do on a typewriter, you cross it out with the XXX. It looked like it was some scandalous thing. In your XXX era. Excuse me? <laughs> I think it's so important to have healthy boundaries with what you share and don't share on social media. In a lot of ways, as much as we know you, you're a very private person on social media. Peter. <laughs> and all this to say that when you open up about those things, it felt like we were let into the behind the scenes look of what it takes to be you. But anyway, enough mushy shit. <laughs> the mush and gush, Peter. You said some mush and gush. The people asked to hear more about me, so I must oblige. Being a guy in my 20s masculinity is a weird concept. I think a lot of men in my generation are changing and reflecting on how manhood was when we were raised versus how we should actually be as men. To anyone out there, have a conversation with an important man in your life about how he's really doing. Fostering those important emotional connections is something very few of us learned how to do, and I think a lot of us younger men are working to create those connections, but older men of my gender are not necessarily doing the same. Look at this little bit of wisdom. This wisdom corner with Peter. <laughs> Love that. In general, check on your friends. Have those hard convos. So now that my tangent is over with, how about some life updates? Last time we heard about my breakup and my improv. I have news again. Firstly, my improv show got canceled, so that stinks. Yay. Well, improv is yes and. Uh, yes and it got canceled. When is the next show? As for my ex, I'm over it. <laughs> I decided I hope she doesn't follow the video. I decided I have better things to do than be sad about a, a woman who doesn't want me for the awesome guy I am. I'm going to focus on my mental health. Also, I flirted with a girl by the rotisserie chickens at Costco and someone asked for my number at the gym. So I'm thriving. Look at that. All you gotta do is stand by the poultry or throw some weights around. Also, I want to pitch the idea of Never Have I Ever Portillo's. Famous restaurant in the, in the Chicago areas. Or I don't even, did it start in Chicago? Well, that's what the video is for. We'd have to research it. We have very few here in Madison. I love their chicken tenders and cheeseburgers. But enough of my creative process. I'm sure I'm taking enough of your time and my fingers are sore from this damn typewriter. I lied. I have more to say. <laughs> I have so many questions for you about your process of video creation, so I'm just gonna rattle them off and you can answer them if you want. What software do you use for editing? iMovie. It's free. Came with the computer. I know how to use other editing softwares it's slowing me down tremendously but i just i know it like the back of my hand editing software is not hard just takes practice i in college i used avid and i've also used final cut pro if you're like checking out you're like i don't she edits the videos what the fuck i just i thought they're just natural breaks and her talk no um <laughs> you always use softbox lights or what's your setup uh natural lighting or yeah i have like these two softbox lights i never use a ring light i know a lot of creators like ring lights i hate mine i think it's garbage it's trash it's too concentrated very bad at lighting videos. I don't really, I don't care. <laughs> There's some things I just don't care about is lighting. So I do what I can. A lot of the lighting in my house is very yellow and I hate the color. I hate the yellow lighting. So I always try and reverse it. Has anyone ever said you remind them of Melissa McCarthy? I don't know, but she's one of my favorite people. I think your humor is similar to her. Do you see yourself needing editing or production help in the future? Where can I apply? Peter! <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I don't even know what we're doing on, after the P.O. Box video. Well, I know I got to edit it on my iMovie, but that's, yeah, that's as far as I got. All right, I'm done now. Stay golden, Peter. Oh yeah, Peter always ends it with a stay golden. Peter, that's update on Peter. <laughs> Thank you for the other letter. This is Amazon. A package within a package? No wigs this video. We're all wigged out. You know? Maybe we're over it. It's just not our... No. I swear, it's like, I... S that was not planned. That was not edited. I didn't sneak a peek. I didn't tape it back up. I swear, I didn't. I didn't feel like a wig. <laughs> how does that keep happening? This is an old granny wig. I have a couple of these. How do you, how do y'all do that? Here, let's try with something else. Oh, I hope when I open my hands, there's not a million dollars in here. No! How would you explain having so many wigs to pe They're like, you just, every month you get like a wig in the mail? And I'm like, yeah. When they talk about manifesting stuff, they don't mean wigs <laughs> out of thin air. Does anybody had to know how to use this contraption? What's the ticky tacky? There you are. What? Oh! I've been looking for you. Oh! 
Oh, wow. The, they found my location. I've got $20 and a stash of Werther's under my pillow as we speak. What do you do with the chain? Does the chain go here? No, the chain goes around your neck. Why well, doesn't go in front? Does your chain hang? Because then when, when grandmas are pissing you, they just go... Hmm. Let me get these on. What are we working with here? Oh, you've gotten uglier as the time has gone. <laughs> Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, coming home from our house Christmas Eve. She's drinking the eggnog. You can say there's no such thing as Santa. Grandma's met him. <laughs> Mom, what do we say? We believe. Bow, bow, bow. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Your grandma picking you up from a party. It's two in the morning. A little too many brewskis with the boys on a natter day. She pulls up. She's like, goodness gracious. What a tangle web we weave. You're going to help me reset my DVR tomorrow. Yeah, ta, 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 ta. Yeah, yeah. I want glasses with these on them. I, could, I guess I could put these on my glasses. We getting down tonight. Ooh, ooh. Bingo starts in 20. Let me get my hemorrhoid medicine. It should be so fun to wear to a bar with your friends and then just be like, give me the oldest drink you could find. They're like the oldest drink. I'm like, what's been sitting in the cooler the longest? I want to drink the part. We got some peach schnapps that came at the place when we bought the bar back in 2006. I'm like, that's that'll do it. That'll do it. Walking home from Grandma's house Christmas Eve. This is a package from Debbie from Solon, Ohio. I forgot how to pronounce it. Colon. It's like I think it's a colon, but it's S. Solon. That is. Oh, I think we went over this last time. Solon. Colon. Salon. We definitely did. I can't remember. If I make too many jokes about it, I'm never gonna get it. But it's from, uh, her company is called Debbie Draws Funny. She sent me a bunch of greeting cards. Well, cards are actually for every type of occasion, honestly. And I've been giving them out. I just gave a cri Oh, the scissors. That could have just, that could have just pierced my damn foot. Imagine this got like super glued to my head and I had to go to the hospital because I had scissors through my foot and they're like, what led to this? And I'm like, well, do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> You know you haven't met too many goobers, have you? I gave one of the birthday cards to my sister-in-law for her birthday. The one that I made the cookies for in the vlog video. Yeah, I have a box cutter. In my old age, I'm just forgetting everything. It's either a T-bone steak in here or something creative. Oh, they wrap them in packages like this. One time for like my 16th birthday when I played sports, my nickname was T-Bone. My friend, one time for my birthday, she gave me a T-Bone steak. A raw, uncooked T-Bone steak. Shout out Angelica. <gasps> oh, look, it's another goddamn card. <laughs> Oh, this is from you. I was like, did you... <laughs> I was like, am I supposed to give this to people? Oh, so much to unpack as always. Oh my gosh, look at these cards. Hold on. These taste terrible. <laughs> if all these doomsday preppers are right and the end of the world is near, I'd be happy to bunker down with you. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue, aliens are real. So is my love for you. Just like my iced coffee habit, I can't quit you. Our love story is better than any romance novel. The Lord, Lady, and Smutsville. So spicy, I burnt my fingers turning the pages. These are great. Thank you for the cards. <laughs> I'm gonna start handing out cards just on a random day. These are big stickers. How my book boyfriend ruined all real men for me. A memoir. That's, oh, current state of my TBR. It's long. I have printed out Word documents of the books I need to read and the movies I need to watch and all that other good stuff. This one says, when I die, bury me with my TBR. TBR stands for to be read books. To be read. I always forget. I'm like, to TBR list? To bready? but it's ready. Books I want to read, books I've read. Cause we're all reading A Court of Hotties with Bodies. <laughs> this one says I would rather be home reading and it's the colors of the Akatar books. Ah, she sent the iced coffee card. You get me? Oh, when you send a card, you utilize the whole thing. If you don't have much to say, you just write bigger, okay? That's a tip from Grandma Snaps. If you ain't got a lot to say, you write very big. You start throwing in adjectives you just learned. You are very symbolic of my love. You are unparalleled. If you, if onomatopoeias were a person, you would be my Looks like it's time for me to send you a little bundle of cards and stickers again. I wanted to thank you for sharing my stuff on your video. And my sister Michelle has been on my case to send you some of my Valentine's Day and bookish merch. But why is everyone using the word bookish today? Bookish company, bookish merch. I like it. And she's right. It's January 31st. And as I write this, time, it do be ticking and shit. <laughs> time, it do be ticking and shit. <laughs> me in the old folks home waiting for someone to bring me a piece of jello. Time, it do be ticking. Age, it do be showing. My patience, it do be thinning. Always be the good time gal. At least I think that's what I called you in the last card. The good time gal. It still stands. <laughs> and my husband, John, and our kids, Charlie and Amelia, all say hi. Because they're big fans. Send in hugs and giggles from Deb. Hugs and giggles. She goes, ha ha, Deb. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. Deb or Debbie? I've been calling you Debbie. I feel like you're the type of people that goes with both. Debra. Debra's like, not unless you're in trouble. Someone's calling you Debra. You're like, listen, someone better be losing a finger or I better have just won a million dollars. Is the lottery calling? They'll call me Debra. It's from Amazon. Is this a shirt? What does it say? Something. I said no pickles. <laughs> I said no pickles. Did I say this? I don't like pickles. That's I don't like pickles. When you slap something about me on a shirt, it throws me off. How do y'all know I don't like pickles? Someone today was like, do you want my pickle? Not in a... <laughs> 
in, in, in the context of the, the pickle, the food. It was in a Bloody Mary. I said, no, 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 I don't like pickles. Thank you for the... <laughs> I said no pickles. This looks like a woman who has a vendetta against like a burger chain. She walks in. They're like, every day I come here for 40 years. See my gray hair? See my bad eyesight? Look what I'm seeing. Y'all not doing your jobs. I said no pickles. Maybe if I say it out loud and you can read my shirt, you'll give me a burger with no pickles. Think y'all could do that? And they're like, ma'am, you didn't even pay the right amount. The bill was $4.79. You once gave me $3, a used scratch off ticket, a piece of Monopoly, an already chewed piece of gum, and then you tried to make up a handshake with me. Well, that's not a fair trade. Your spouse significant other roommate enemy in the other room is like what's she doing now it's like she's wearing a shirt that says she doesn't like pickles and she's wearing a wig yeah that sounds more like it what's this why is this box bright oh it's a hype button <laughs> why is this box bright red how how show us how hyped you get boop, 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 boop. this is my second hype button everyone keeping tracks two hype buttons how much more hyped could you get i love your content always makes me smile thought you should you could use this for infinite fun sarah oh sarah i feel like you sent the other one i said no pickles you give me pickle, I say no pickle. There's not even pickles on this sandwich. I looked at the menu, I picked the one sandwich on a pickle, you put a pickle on. I said no pickles. I even said no pickles out loud. When you came over, you said, hey, hello, how are you? I'm gonna be your server today. I said, Hi, hello, my name's Susanna. I said, no, no pickles, please. Guess what I'm hyped about? <laughs> not eating a pickle. Pop locking, dropping from I lost the glasses. Are these dog treats cute? Buddy Softies. Look at that. With natural grilled beef. They look like gingerbread men, but they're flavored like beef. That's going to throw you off. Let me smell them. That's a crazy beef smell. These will be Riley's new office treats because I just ran out. Oh, he's outside right now. Wow. What? I'd swa. You speaketh and they showeth up. Imagine you have like a grandma and she only speaks in like Shakespearean type of cadence terms and puts ith on everything. And you're like, what's up with your grandma? Is she hella old? Like, is she from? Did she know Shakespeare? Did she date him? Has she seen him? You know, was she there when the Romeo and Juliet thing happened? That's crazy. No, she has entertainmentitis. Entertainmentitis. That's where she's always, she always thinks she's performing. And yet, no one wants to see the show she's putting on. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Amazon. Oh, some more St. Patrick's Day stuff. This is a little bucket hat. Why is this vacuum sealed to high heavens? Who did that? I said I had a box cutter a little bit a while ago. See how I put that in there? Good. Now I look like look like a tourist grandma visiting a cucumber factory in Ireland. Thank you for that. What happened to this? Oh, it's there's some smells coming out of this, and also the box got beat up. It smells like a Hallmark antique touristy store where you walk around and they got like local knickknacks and snow globes. Like they're making toffee in the back. Not fudge. Not the hard candy. Like toffee. Like some soft toffee. Where's this from? Marie. Hamilton, Ohio. Hamilton, Ohio. Oh, also, wait, I forgot. A Deb sent me this iced coffee chapstick. What the heck? It literally looks like a little Dunkin' cup. Oh, got caramel mocha. Look at that. Chapstick, coffee. Chapstick, coffee. How could I not send you this? It's a lip balm. It's a keychain. It's Dunkin'. It's all the things. Oh, a little snap. Let me get a, a medium iced coffee. Caramel mocha. Put some Splenda in there. And I don't want to, I don't want a pickle. I better not see a pickle in there. I will burn this place to the ground. And I will blame it on my eyesight because I ain't got my glasses with me today. Okay, this is from Marie and the box got beat up. Looks like someone took a box cutter to it, scream style. I don't know who did that. I don't think it was me. Merry Christmas? I am not that far behind in mail to have, what is in, what's in the bottom? Excuse me, we're all exiting the box. Okay, just some fluff and stuff, gotcha. These are just Merry Christmas bags. What's in here? These like little, I think they're like little air freshener things. That's what's smelling. This is vanilla. This was a Christmas wreath pine, pumpkin. Maybe you put the holes in the box yourself. Cranberry mandarin, sugar cookie. Look at that. This one's the sugar, wow, it really does smell like a good little sugar cookie. Merry Swiftmas, look at that. A little Swaler Tiff, Swaler, Swaler? Taylor, <laughs> who's Swaler? A little Taylor Swift fan of the house. Merry Swiftmas, these are cool looking. I've never gotten the Taylor Swift beads. Oh, I got big wrists. Hold on, stand by. Wow. I'm drunk in the back of the car and I'm crying like a baby coming home from the bar. No pickles, do 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 do. Wow, that was fun. When we pick a theme, we stay on it. Have a merry Swift mess. Oh, you have a bunny? My, look at my, how oh, high my voice are. Sending you, wow, look at this handwriting. I love how we always take time to show the handwriting. Neatly spaced. Wishing you a season of moments so wonderful. The Become Folklore. Mary Swiftmas. From Dudley Dean. That's your bunny's name is Dudley Dean? And Marie. Y'all, look at this bunny. That is the cutest little bunny. He looks so chill. Dudley Dane, sending you swift Miss cheers. Here's to a Christmas so enchanting that even the Grinch would, would be caught singing. I, I love how we're like all for the cheer. Christmas, Christmas, Christine. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for my advice, Cameo. Okay, I sent a Cameo, Megan's Way. That makes sense. I appreciated all your kind words. Your encouragement was amazing. Uh, I love your videos so much. Your craft videos are my favorite because I love crafting. I made you some homemade air fresheners. It's my first time making them, so I don't know how well the scent will radiate. It's little, they still smell, and if this package is from December, you did a good job, lol. Anyways, Merry Christmas. Marie and Dudley Dean, my little boy rabbit. P.S. Our Christmas card is Taylor Swift themed, lol. When I made them, I had us matching with folklore cardigans and ever more inspired flannels and of course Christmas attire, lol. I also made you some Swiftmas friendship bracelets. Love that. I love someone who one picks a theme, two sticks to it. You can't half butt a theme. That's some more grandma advice from Grandma Snaps. You never half but half ass. That's what I'm gonna say. You never kind of have a theme. If you go to a party and this party's been planned for months and at the last minute, the day before they text you, hey, the theme is actually fruit bowl themed. Please show up as a as a fruit. The day before, you want me to make a grape costume? Out of what? My pillows that I dyed purple? No. I'm gonna sew them to my shirt? Absolutely not. We don't go halvesies on a theme. We go all in. Thank you. <laughs> Amazon. What is the dye kit? The dye kit! Didn't I literally just say I was gonna dye pillows? <laughs> Little cactus shot glasses? That's cute. A set of six. What's this? White scrunchies to dye dye. And then a tie dyeing kit. Well, someone just said they like crafting. I made a joke about tie dyeing my pillows. If you speaketh, it will show up if. I'm drunk in the back of the car and I'm crying like a baby coming home from the bar. Ooh. They even put gloves in here in bags. Holy cannoli. I've never seen so many tie-dye bottles. Oh, the colors are in here, are they? How would I know what color this is? Dark blue, it says right on. If I could just read. <laughs> There's so many colors in here. Thank you so much. Where did the bag go? Oh, it's right here. Let me find all the notes. Okay. Happy New Year, Christine. I just wanted to let you know that I've been watching your TikTok and videos. I would say about three years now. Please don't cry. You have helped me so much. I said, what? I, said, what? <laughs> I enjoy and cherish your stupid humor and crackhead energy. 2023 was a rough year. I had surgery, lost family members, moved, and had to quit my job. I still have no job. Elizabeth, then don't send me stuff in the... You could have just written me a letter. Please, if you don't... I don't... I, you don't... This is not a priority. I appreciate all of this immensely. I hope you really find a job. Sorry to hear about your family members' surgery. You got a lot going on. 2024 should just be a chill year for you. We've already four months in. I hope it's going good. Uh, I also turned 21 last year, so I hope you enjoy the shot glasses and your tie-dye kit. I wanted to get something better, but I couldn't afford it. Elizabeth, no! We don't buy things just for my crackhead energy, but to open them. No, 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 we take care of ourselves. Goober, Scout's Honor, we gotta take care of ourselves first. Elizabeth, take care of yourself. So caps off, bottoms up to 2024. By the way, for your map, I'm in Athens, Texas! Elizabeth has been watching a long time because she said, let me just give you the town. Let me cut to the chase. I'm from Athens, Texas. Thank Thank you so much. Da, 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 da. Why is this so long? I feel like I must just slice through myself. What is the safety guard on this thing? Is that the keyboard? Shut, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Get out of here. No notes. Why no notes? Is this a keyboard? <gasps> Wireless keyboard and mouse set. I love keyboards. The one that make noises when you hear. I love those. I love those. I love those. Look how colorful it is. I don't even know if it's the red one, but. It's purple. Have I said that I liked keyboards? It's the cutest purple you've ever seen. Doesn't that just, <laughs> doesn't that just make you want to write a book, write a memoir, put your thoughts down, send someone a nasty letter? Back in my day, keyboards weren't invented. The clickety clacky, I like how it feels. I like the pushing of the, I love keyboards like this. This is, I don't know who sent this. You must send me a note, a letter. Give me a lifeline. Oh, and it's got little pop-ups. Oh my, it has a little stand on it. I like it so much, I just, I kind of want to smash it to pieces. You know when you like something so much, you just want to break it? Yay! Yay! <sighs> Looks like those big hands and fat fingers really like to hit some keys. And she used to hit the keys on the piano, but I feel like she really be hitting that word count these days. This is amazing. This, okay, the wig, my hair, my head's so itchy. <laughs> Whoa, kind of smells like a grandma. <laughs> What a good way to end it. Thank you guys so much for the packages, the letters, the notes. I love how you write and type and sign off and the goofy things and the things that I think that I'll like. I don't even realize that I'm saying stuff sometimes. You guys are picking up on it. You're very good listeners. Did anybody tell you that? I'm doing all the talking. You're doing all the listening. It's a very one-way relationship, but I just... <laughs> I really appreciate it. I need to go sit in a corner for a couple of minutes because I feel like the I only drank half of this energy drink, but oh, I barely drank any of it. It's kicking in. Please like and subscribe to the videos. We do pill box openings like once a month, space them out. That's why some of it's, I think, a little backlogged. My bad. <laughs>
something my bad on that. I should start like dating the packages so I know when they came in. That would be super smart. Too bad I didn't think about that three years ago. Um, but thank you guys so much. I'll see y'all around. It's weird how I be talking to myself for like two hours and then I'm like, wow, I feel like I've really, you know, talked everybody's ear off. I've been talking to myself. I'm talking my own ears off. I just peel them off like pieces of lettuce. I'm like, put those away. Package those up. Send them on vacation. I'm oh, I should get, I should get like a fake set of ears. <laughs> and at the end of the videos, I just rip them off. I'm like, and if you're done listening, see you next time. <laughs> grandma, what is the best part of being a grandma? Oh, oh, it's, oh, I don't know. Probably, probably having a family that you want to cherish and give all your riches to, and then having them turn out like you. <laughs> you know, you know you're talking, talking about I'm me. not giving you your inheritance to vape oh. and to go to the raves yeah. and take your girlfriend to Cabo. Hold on, could you say that again? I'm gonna voice memo this to my therapist. You are my only hope and my greatest disappointment. I'm gonna make sure someone kicks your cane out from under you while you're walking. Huh? No, I'm not crying. There's just something in my... <laughs> <laughs> my throat. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> They're like, can you cry in command? I'm like, no, but I could sure blubber. <laughs> no tears. No tears. Not a single tear. They're invisible tears. It's called method acting. It's called the beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and the tears are in the eye of the. Well, not my eye because I'm not showing any tears. There's a lot of smells on my hands. The lip gloss, the air fresheners, the boxes, the wigs, the... I'm gonna go find a good soap. I'm gonna scrub a dub dub. I'm gonna air, air scrub a dub dub. Air, air scrub a dub. Wash my hands. Wash my hands. Towel dry. Towel dry. Tea towel tits. Tea towel tits. Tea towel with the birds and the tits. Tea towel with the tur... With the turds. <laughs> well...